Deshaun Jackson, Steven Jackson, Nick Cannon, Ice Cube. Man, what the hell are y'all doing? Like, y'all want racial equality. We all do. I don't understand how insulting another group helps our cause. And the only person called y'all on it was Kareem. We can't allow black people to be prejudiced also, especially if we're asking for white folks to respect us, give us economic opportunity, and things like that. I'm so disappointed in these men, but I don't understand how you beat hatred with more hatred. That stuff should never come up in your vocabulary, and it should never come up in your heart. I don't understand it. I'm never going to accept it. And I'm asking you guys. I'm begging you guys, man. You guys are famous. You got a platform. We got to do better, man. I want allies. I don't want to alienate anybody. And to take shots at the the, the Jewish race, the white race, I just don't like it because it's not right. And I had to call him on it because it's really, it's really been on. First of all, Charles Barkley, speak on what you know. Don't stop letting people put a battery in your back to say certain shit that you don't even know what you're talking about. I know what I said. So keep my name out your mouth. However you feel, I honestly don't give a fuck. But that don't stop nothing I got going on. I'm out here with the real people. The people that's really suffering. Caring about my people. You did what I'm saying? That's what I'm doing. So to, to Charles Barkley, I can give a fuck how you feel. And that's on me. To you. Since you upset with motherfuckers. We don't give a fuck what you upset with. I know I don't. I'm going to keep doing what I'm doing. The people supporting me. The people standing with me. Why y'all been sitting on TV rubbing y'all fat ass bellies. Y'all got me fucked up. Yeah, I'm going to reply. Ain't nobody else going to say nothing. But y'all keep that same energy when y'all see me, too. All right, man. Y'all, y'all seen my last video about uh, the arena. with uh, about They start a new TNT show for the uh, makeshift uh, restart NBA season in the Orlando bubble about how Draymond and uh, Dwayne Wade and Kerry Champion and contributors Killer Mike and uh, Jamil Hill will be uh, on there talking about racial issues, uh, systematic racism, Black Lives Matter. You see why I don't really care about the show to watch two dudes that's been tap dancing the buck dancing for a minute. Uh, Charles Barkley, that's his prerogative. And uh, Dwayne Wade be on the show. But you see uh, Stephen A. J- Stephen A. Jackson, Stephen Jackson uh, get at Charles Barkley for calling out him, Deshaun Jackson, Ice Cube for trying to kill hatred with hatred. But let's talk about it. Hit that subscribe button, bell icon button, share the video. And basically Chuck is referring to you know Deshaun Jackson saying the truth. You know what I'm saying? And he basically said that you know, that, you know, black people were the original Jews. That's really a mystery amongst a lot of black people today. But if you don't read, you don't research, you will know that. And basically, you know, you know, basically, he just basically said that they trying to, they, you know, they trying to destroy, um, you know, oppression and racism towards blacks with hatred. And you can't do that. And I just had an argument with somebody else about this the other day, said we got to, you know, only way we're going to win this war is with love. It's with love was love, you know. Malcolm Wood got killed. You know, Martin got killed off love, and Malcolm got killed off hatred. So, they got to be some type of gray area, common ground to get there. But, um, Stephen A. Jackson say, you know, I don't care what you think. The people got my back. I'm in the streets every day. You know, but, you know, Chuck had his opinion on this. said that, you know, they don't heal like the way they going about it. And he can say it. You know, it didn't work for Malcolm. And the way his way didn't work for Malcolm. I mean, for Malcolm. So, I mean, for Martin. But, um... Like I said before, man, I don't even want to talk about these videos, man, so I'm not going to give a hardcore opinion. But, you know, both of them could be right, you know, but most people are going to side with Steven Jackson. But, you know, for Chuck, you know, he said if we're trying to ask white people for financial equality, we ask the people to, white people for equality, I don't even know what we're asking them. What are we asking them for? We've been asking for 300, 400 years. We built the country. we just asking for what we deserve. We've been asking for 300, 400 years, and... We still ain't got nowhere. They're still killing us. They're still trying to get rid of us. We still, you know, program to hate each other. You know, we more program to hate each other. And that's due to what they've done to us here than to hate them. So that's what be killing me, dog, is these dudes want to put their neck out on, on the line. This is this is a, a fad. It's a, it's, a, it's, a, it's, a, it's a trend. It's a, a cool trend. When a black guy get killed or a black woman get killed or 
the police just knocked out a woman teeth in Chicago or something like that. To act like you down with your Gucci purse, with your Gucci purse to the side. You know, put your Sambo Prada bag to the side. Put your Yeezys up and go put a mask on and put a black power shirt on. Man, get out of here. I don't care about that. Ain't nothing going to change. They keep beating us. They keep shooting us. And you ain't going to do nothing about it. So, to the to the point, y'all y'all going to keep loving them. Y'all going to keep spending money with them. Y'all going to keep being in the corporate world with them. Y'all going to keep supporting the raccoons. You know what I'm saying? Steven Jackson, you know, he can keep doing what he's doing, but he's fighting a, a, a battle, battle he can't win. You know what I'm saying? He fight all he did was support what Deshaun Deshaun Jackson said, and Chuck trying to say you can't kill hatred with hatred. I, was, I mean, I, I guess it is hatred because the new truth is hatred. I guess it is hatred. The new truth is hatred. So you speak the truth is hatred. It is what it is. So but Chuck telling the truth. When you speak the new truth, it is truly hatred. So Deshaun Jackson and, and Stephen Jackson and Ice Cube is just you know spewing hatred. You know, and people talk about, oh, black, we can't fall and become racist. That's what Chuck said, I believe, in the video. And um, at the end of the day, I think it'll be a good thing. You know what I'm saying? People start growing a spine and getting angry and feeling some type of way. I mean, but it's never going to happen. You know what I'm saying? They're going to continue to oppress us. You got to stop looking up to these TV dudes and these, you know, um, these movie stars to lead us out of somewhere. They're not. They funded to push a message to, to oppress us, but we gonna always be oppressed until some some catastrophic gotta happen for not to, for us not to be oppressed. So I'm not taking either one of their side. You know, it is what it is. Chuck believe what he believes. Steven believe what he believe. But you know, one thing they doing that's that's consistent. Instead of us tackling the problem as a team, it's divide and conquer. They divide. And it was a Nick Cannon situation. It's divide and conquer. You know what I'm saying? Instead of all of us supporting Nick Cannon or we don't support Nick Cannon being quiet, we attacking each other. Now you got Walker Flocker attacking Nick Cannon. Now you got Steven Jackson and Charles Barkley attacking each other. Barkley attacking Q. Barkley attacking Deshaun Jackson. Instead of us, instead of Chuck just shutting the hell up and letting it run its course and let it do what it do, in the, in the, in the community threads, you got dudes and black people attacking black people. White people ain't got to do nothing. They don't. White people ain't got to do a damn thing but watch black people burn it down. That's it. That's all that's happening right now. They watching us burn it down. It's not us versus them on them threads. They might put their little two cents in. It's not Ice Cube attacking, you know, or excuse me, Charles Barkley attacking, you know, uh, I don't know who out there. Get, uh, Ellen, I'm just saying that as an example. You know, he attacking his own brother. So we, we fighting against each other instead of fighting the main goal. That's why I said I'm pulling out of all that black power crap they doing. Real talk. Because it, it, it's gone. It's dead. It died with Malcolm. It died with Pac. It died with Marvin. It died, it died, with, all, it died with all of them. We, we, instead of us, you know, being unified or just being quiet, we battling each other. You're doing exactly what the white man want us to do. Fighting amongst each other. They, you, Stephen Jackson and Charles Barkley going back and forth. Nick, everybody jumping on Nick Cannon that's black. You know what I'm saying? It's no different than the streets. It's no different. No different. We attacking each other every day. You ain't no different from damn near that dude killing this dude for stepping on his Jordans or fighting over a crack rock or fighting over a woman. Y'all ain't no different. It's just on, on a different scale at this point. That's it. It's on a different scale. It's a different range. You know, and it, it's pathetic that we just can't unify. We arguing. You actually got black people that saying this hatred that they enrich, they enlightening people and trying to bring the truth to light. We can't fight it with hate. What did he say? That was that was truly hatred. Did John Jackson start it? What did he say? He believed his religious beliefs. When somebody comes and spit their religious beliefs, y'all y'all don't say nothing when they come out that Christianity Bible. No matter how dumb it sounds. You don't see people saying that. He but he spit his truth from his religious belief. And now it's a, it's a, it's a major problem. You know, oh you can't be smooth, we can't fight. What what did he say? Hatred. What was the hatred about? What did he say? We need to kill this amount of people. We need to chop her up and shoot. No, he didn't say that. But y'all know what it is, man. You know how Chucky is. It doesn't really surprise me. Like I said, I ain't picking sides. I ain't picking battles no more. I'm just going to live my life and, 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 and change the community and enlighten people I believe I need to enlighten about what's going on in this world. But at the end of the day, nothing going to happen that's going to save us. We, 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 we can't even be unified 
on, on a subject that's the actual truth about the, the majority of our people. We can't even unify on that. We couldn't unify and say this wall right here in front of me, back behind me is brown. Oh, really it's tan. Really it's beige. I'm tired of black people, man. I ain't gonna lie. I'm tired of them, man. I'm tired of them, man. I'm tired of this. It's no different from niggas fighting the streets over a pair of Jordans. It's just on a different scale. It's making us look foolish. I'm tired of it, man. But let me know what you guys think. Don't forget to follow me on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. Reach out if you got business questions, quiet response, video requests. Keep sharing the videos, man. Appreciate the love, support. Want to make a donation, cash out, PayPal, description. Best way to donate is to share, share the video. All my social media links in the description. You can touch me, Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, one time for the one time we go.